That's for two, four, and six. Turn those 10, 11, 12 for bank two plugs. Again, the same process. That's the trigger or the control. Here's the coils. And here's the plugs. And again, here's the voltage for those coils. Goes in the coils, goes in A, comes out B, and waits at 10, 11, 12 for a trigger. The next one, the Thrala Actuator Control, TAC, pins 14 and 15. In this particular setup, there's no Thrala cable, no cruise control cable, and no IAC. The Thrala Actuator, electronic. That's pin 14 and 15. And next one is 16 and 17. That's pin 16 for cam 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 position sensor signal occurs at 16 for cam 1 and 17 for cam 2. Which is here. Pin 16 cam signal occurs on the solar Number one compression stroke. On pin 17, the cam signal occurs on the cell number four compression stroke. Okay, now that was one of three. Let's go over to two or three, the next one. As you can see here at the bottom, these this diagram, arrow means this diagram diagram continues to another page. So let's go over there. Now this next one. This is the second one, two or three. Continuation. Pin 48 feeds the accelerator pedal position sensor. It's powered to APP1. You can see here. As you can see here. That's 5 volts. That 5 volts goes over to our pin 48 over to the accelerated pedal position sensor. Number 1. Pin 49 the accelerated pedal position signal is to PCM. So right here, is my input on 49 from that sensor. And on 40, no sorry, 50, it's the sensor's ground. So you got five was going to, Accelerate pedal position number one. We got signal back into 49 as the input signal and 50 is the ground. Pin number 51 is power to accelerate APP2. Accelerate pedal position sensor number two.
power volts that goes to the second half of the accelerator pedal position accelerator pedal position APP sensor number two the same process 5 volts got on 51 down a D from E to 52 is your input and 53 is the ground now the AP, APP1 accelerator pedal position sensor number one varies from 0.5 volts to closed throttle to 3.5 volts at maximum pedal depression like you hit it to the floor it's at 3.5 volts APP, APP2 varies from 1.5 closed throttle to about 4.5 volts maximum pedal depression so they like similar like the TPS we talked about earlier but this is actually on the throttle inside the car well, in some cases inside the car. Let me see, can I find that diagram for you? Here's your accelerator pedal position sensor. As you can see, the chart, it says, at 0% depressed, in other words, you're not touching it. APP1 voltage is 0.5, which is here. Now, as you gradually increase the pedal position, it goes up to about 3.5 volts. As you can see there. Number two, it starts off at 1.5. So it's offset by one and a half volts. At maximum throttle to give you about four and a half volts at maximum throttle. Two sensor to the same thing. It just one has a little bit more uh, leeway. For better accuracy and emissions. Let's see when we switch. Now, the next thing on tap is pin fifty four. Pin fifty four. Heated O2 sensor 1 1, which is this one. Pin 54, heater O2 sensor 11. Basically what that means is that since number one and number one is bank one. Bank one is wherever number one intake valve is at. The front, the back, left, or right. Whatever side that number one intake valve is at, that's bank one. The other bank, no matter what the fire, firing order is, is bank number two. So this is one one. Sensor one, bank one. And a, and a slash one means in front of the cat. So the sensor one, bank one, in front of the cat converter. So, pin 54 is my input signal for my rich lean condition. Pin 55 is, is the ground, and pin 56 is the heater circuit. Now, you notice in here also, the heater circuit comes from fuse number 56. Pin 
That's your hotline. And my heater circuit for that is here. Go to the go to the heating element and out. The 1056. And once the ground's complete, it heats up the the heating element is turned on to help the O2 sensor heat up faster, especially for a cold car or when the car's idling for a long time. That helps keep the emissions down. Um, 10, 57, 58, and 59, the same thing, but you can see it says 2-1. That means bank number 2, sensor number 1. And again, sensor number 1 is in front of the K. And 2 means that's the other bank like we said earlier. Same procedure. 52 is the input for a rich link addition on an O2 sensor. 10, 58. It's the ground and 59 is your heater circuit. Just like the last one. Now the next 60, 61, and 62. Which is this one. These sensors is 1, 2. You got one, two, positive, negative, and heater. Now, one again means bank number one. Now, in this time, number two means the sensor behind the catalytic converter. Dominated by some, <laughs> some miniatures.